Hey guys, it's Nathan Firth. Today I want to talk about how to build a custom navigation content block type using Twitter Bootstrap in ServiceNow CMS. So to get started, I'm going to go pull up UI macros and we're going to search for one called CMS underscore menu. If we expand this here a little bit, you'll notice uh, they're doing a test here and pulling up uh, the menu type and then they're uh, basically they have the hard-coded uh, macros being included here so this is what we're going to need to replace so I already have this I already have the solution written out so you'll find the you'll find the code on my blog on uh, servicenowcms.com but I'm just going to go ahead and replace this now the next thing you're going to want to do is rename uh, this macro called CMS menu section blocks and the reason for this is it had a slightly different naming convention than the rest so we're just going to get rid of the section underscore portion so it should be called CMS underscore menu underscore blocks once you have that uh, if you switch back to your ESS portal you just want to refresh the page and make sure that everything still renders correct um, especially this is the block one that we just renamed so as long as this is showing up then everything should be working fine so now what we want to do is uh, let's go down to the navigation menu and let's actually create a new type. Uh, so I'm going to go into portal block menu. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take where you see here where it says uh, type. We're going to create a new one. So if you uh, right click and go personalize choices, we're going to create a new one and we're going to call it uh, bootstrap nav. We're going to save the page. Um, I'm also going to uh, go into the show choice list so that we can modify the actual value of that. So here, bootstrap nav. I'm just going to change that to be bootstrap underscore nav. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, add just a couple of addi additional menu sections. So I'm going to create the first one, just call it home. And I'm going to make the URL be dot slash. And then I'm going to create one more that's just going to be a, a static link. And we'll just call it link just as an example. And for the sake of document, or just as an example, I'm going to make this go to servicenow.com. Okay, I'm going to just give it an order here. I'm going to put the home one first and let's put the link one last. Okay. So now that that's done, we're going to want to create a macro that is going to be used for rendering the navigation block that we just created. So if we click over on UI macros, we're going to click new. And the format we're going to use for the name is going to be CMS underscore menu and then the value that we used uh, for the type, which in this case is bootstrap underscore nav. And I've already written out all, uh, all of the jelly that we're using in the macro and I will be providing that in the blog. It's probably not complete, but it's a really good starting point and uh, so you can use that to get started. There we go, save that. Now to be able to test this out, we just need to take one of the navigation blocks and switch it over to use our new type. So I'm gonna go over here uh, to our navigation menu block and you don't have to modify this one, you can create a new one if you'd like, but just for the sake of this demo, I'm gonna switch this, uh, instead of horizontal blocks, I'm gonna make this bootstrap nav, which is the one we just created, we save it. And then if we jump back to the ESS portal and refresh the page, you'll notice it is now uh, using our new macro, which obviously it doesn't have any styles or JavaScript right now, so it doesn't quite look right. So that will be our next part that we need to do. All right, now you'll wanna go into sites. 
uh, let's go pull up the home page. Um, what we're trying to do is get the CSS and JavaScript in there. And there's many better ways of doing this, but uh, just to keep this simple, I'm just going to put it directly at the bottom of the layout. So I have this already defined. So we're uh, including the bootstrap CSS file. Uh, we need jQuery, um, bootstrap.js, and then I'm uh, putting jQuery into known conflict mode. And we can also, you know, be including these things in the UI script table, but just to keep it simple, I'm just uh, pulling them, pulling them in from uh, CDN. Now, if we click back to our ESS portal tab and refresh the page, you'll notice now we finally have the correct styles being applied. However, there's one more thing that I've noticed that is an issue, and that is. Um, if you we click on some of these links, you'll notice they're disappearing, and that's actually due to a uh, conflict between jQuery and Prototype. So to fix that, if we uh, go back to let's see, let's go back to sites. Let's just pull up the layout again. So I've already uh, written out the JavaScript and I've put it into a UI script. So I'm just going to be including it and I'll be providing this again on the blog. And refresh. And now things should be working correctly. So here you go. We have a bootstrap based uh, navigation with drop downs. And uh, if we click on the link, it will take us to the ServiceNow homepage. There you go. Hope you guys enjoy and let me know in your comments if you have any questions and what you think. Thanks guys.